Hey guys, it's River Thames. We're back with testing the Battlefront, and I haven't made one of these for a while simply because I've been away for a while and I just haven't had the time really on the weekends to actually create this. So I've managed to get one out today, and I think it's more so interesting. It's not so much too many tips and stuff like that. It's just a bit of a laugh this one, and yeah. So first up, what would happen if Luke and Kylo both use their abilities on each other. You know how Luke can push Kylo away, but at the same time Kylo Ren can force pull Luke. So the question is, will they end up in the same place? And I tried this out and it was very hard to time them at the same time, but unfortunately they don't actually end up in the same place. Luke's force push is just that bit stronger than Kylo Ren. I think it could be possible if maybe there was a bit of a unequal distance between the two. Maybe it could happen in just general online gameplay, but as for just standing next to each other, I don't think it would. But but it's a cool test to try out and something that I think could be possible since you can see that both abilities will trigger at the same time. Next up, can two rockets collide? And unfortunately not, basically they just fly through each other. I tried this out in three ways, I think. I basically just had each rocket fire at each other and I lined it up with part of the map to see if they would cross over each other. You know, kind of like parallel lines, but eventually they'll meet. And yeah, neither of them actually collided. So I think the rockets only have kind of a hitbox to a player which um, I guess is fine I mean it would you know it's just one of those things that it would have been cool if it worked but it's not a big deal if it didn't so a question asked if Boba's blaster disabler could actually defuse grenades and no it's just blasters it doesn't work for any kind of grenades but like I've said in the previous testing the battlefronts it will take out blaster abilities for example Han Solo Sharpshooter, Chewbacca's Furious Bowcaster, um, the EE4 for the Specialist and stuff like that. So keep it in mind if you want to use Boba, he can take down those very strong abilities. So Finn's Deadeye, can you essentially switch from player to player without, you know, doing much? Basically, the way Finn's Deadeye works is that the closest player to you is going to be that one that's going to be getting locked on. So you can't actually switch which player you want to start firing on unless they're closest to you. But one way you can go about potentially doing it is actually to look to the very far sides of a player. Because it will lock on to that closest player. So if you look to someone who is not essentially close to you, because if you fire on someone at where your crosshair is, it's simply going to go to the person closest to you. But if you kind of go away from it, it's essentially an aimbot ability. So it's going to lock on to whoever your blaster and the cursor is actually closer to. So just aim a little bit to the side and you can potentially choose who you want to fire on. So another question is, does the dash damage do anything over or under any of the other heroes. So the, the heroes that can dash are Luke, Yoda and Darth Maul. Only three of them and Luke and Darth Maul have the same dash damage of 100. Now the dash damage still does 100 if they are hit from behind. Like I've said in previous videos, if you strike a lightsaber from on a hero or someone from behind, it will do increased damage. Not too much, maybe around 20 to 30 extra damage, but the dash stays the same. As for Yoda, it does a little bit extra, as 130 damage on the dash. But an important thing to keep in mind with Yoda's dash is that it does break a block. You can dash through a block, and that is 130 damage you can do through a block. So if a hero's low and they keep blocking, Go ahead and dash through it and you'll take them out. So for Phasma, the more the better is a star card that increases the rotation speed of her droids. And I gotta say, um, with and without the star cards, I literally didn't see any difference. 
Um, I don't really understand how this ability really works. I think it just speeds up to be able to lock onto someone quicker in the area. But you can see that I'll do a side by side comparison at this point, and the speed of the droid is really more or less the same. And it was quite confusing for me because it, it pretty much didn't do anything. So I'm quite skeptical about whether this card has the intended effect. But I think regardless, we found out that this card is not worth using and you should probably put your time into ranking up something else. So another one to do with Luke's force push is that he has a star card to increase how far you can push someone away. And personally, I just wanted to showcase this because I want to tell you guys not to use this card at all really. It would be good for Galactic Assault to kind of get people off you, but in Heroes vs Villains the force push should be used to kind of push someone into a wall or something. I say that because in Heroes vs Villains you can regain your health and the amount of damage that Luke does to a hero with his force push I think it's about 90 damage. So. As he pushes them away, they've then been given that extra time to regain that 90 damage you just did to them. So if you're going to extend your force push to make to push them even further, then that's just giving them the advantage easily. So the what you want to be doing is actually pushing them into a wall and then close the gap and then continue to strike and use your dash attacks to continue hitting them while they're standing back up. Now a really interesting idea is that can you defuse the Dioxys gas after the grenade has actually, you know, spewed out the gas? And I think this was a really interesting one. Personally, I think, you know, there was no way this could happen, but generally it does. And I think this is awesome. You know, you can see how the Dioxys gas is completely just dissolved and disintegrated as soon as an officer with diffuser can run through it. So I think that's a really cool tip, something to keep in mind in extraction when you all kinds of things are coming towards you, you can take down a Dioxys grenade included in that. Back on the topic of dashing, you know how Yoda and Darth Maul both have some kind of secret deflection where their dash can actually deflect blaster bolts. I've showcased that before, but I'll just do it again right now to show you guys what I actually mean. But what would happen if they both dashed at each other? You know, would they essentially block each other's dash? And even though it sounds really cool, unfortunately it doesn't work, which uh, is kind of unfortunate, you know. It would have been cool to see that in an online game. But no, they just do deal damage to each other. So, yep, it, it was a cool test, but just keep in mind that it is the same. The thermal binoculars on the specialist class. Now the specialist for thermal binoculars is great, but there is actually a dual zoom. You can actually zoom in further on the map. And I think this would be really cool on Crate and Kashyyyk. You know, especially on those nighttime maps if you want to do some proper sniping with the NT242 sniper, the basically one to two shot sniper. I think that would be really fun. So just keep in mind that there is a dual zoom because I'm not gonna lie. I didn't so even that's know. basically it for the video. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. I just said it was going to be a bit of a testing stuff out. Well, obviously, but you know how, you know, just some funny stuff basically. So it's not so much on the tips, but leave any ideas you have for next week as I will be making one again next week. So I just want to point out that if you've commented something and it hasn't been featured in the video, just keep in mind that it either can't be tested or it's just basically impossible because I've seen some comments to say that, you know, can you do this or that? And in an online game, it's impossible to do something like that and, you know, predict when something like that will happen. Or if I go to the PlayStation and use the split screen, you know, I only have two controllers. So I'm essentially only working with two people. So it can be very tough to, to do something, including multiple people or stuff like that. So please keep that in mind that if it wasn't featured, I didn't ignore you. It's just hard to keep those tests, you know, exactly how you want 
So there's a link to my Discord in the description. Join it if you want and come talk about some Battlefront with me and the rest of my community. Thanks to Eduardo Escobar for continued support on Patreon. Thanks for watching, it's been River and I'll see you in the next video.